a Western Cape a Department of Education MEC, Debbie Schaefer, joins us now live. MEC, thanks for your time. We appreciate it. Of course, bullying is something that's very difficult to monitor, but your province launched an anti-bullying campaign. It was part of the Raise Your Voice, Not Your Phone uh, motion that you put forward. How successful has it been, would you reckon? It's difficult to tell because looking at the, the statistics, obviously last year they went down substantially because I suspect the schools were closed so much during the COVID pandemic. So it is very difficult to tell. Um, it's not going to be a short-term intervention, but I think it's, it's, it certainly has got people um, thinking about what they do and their role in uh, spreading uh, bullying because the whole campaign was relating to how many people sit and actually film bullying incidents and then send them around social media. So uh, the, whole, the whole idea was to show that they are just as much part of the problem as, as the people who are actually doing the physical, physical violence. So I think that has certainly helped to, to raise awareness on that issue. Yeah. Are you seeing or have you seen more pupils come forward with, you know, reports, so to speak, of people, of pupils bullying other pupils at all? Is that working in that way that you were hoping for it to do? Well, as I say, it was difficult because of last year, you know, the stats were, were, were substantially down, but it, I mean, it's because schools were closed. So there's been sort of a, a stable before that, the two years before that, they were, they were still um, similar numbers. So as it, it doesn't appear to at this point have had a mm. substantial impact. But what worries me more also, of course, is the, the cases that don't get reported to us. We know that they don't all get reported, but on the basis of the reported cases, it seems to have be, remained relatively stable. And in terms of educators and the role they play in actually addressing this, of course, in Limpopo, we have an issue where the teachers and principal were allegedly told by this pupil that she was being bullied, but it continued. What's the intervention when it comes from the educator side? We have a policy in the Western Cape called Abuse No More Protocol, um, and that is designed to ensure that people do report and that, we, that the teachers do know what to do in such a situation. And we've done a lot of advocating for, um, of that policy over the last number of years. It was designed in conjunction with the Department of Justice and the NPA. So we've done that as well. What we also are doing is to try and uh, assist our schools to change the culture, because it's not just a, a matter of... Um, necessarily punishing people, but we need to try and change the way people think. So we have a, a strategy called the Transform to Perform strategy. Um, and part of that is, is the values in education um, that is currently being in, implemented in schools. Uh, each school has been chosen to, to choose 12 values of e um, uh, each month of the year uh, to, to explain, talk, show and live these values. So in that way, the teachers are brought in and they help to promote those values in the school um, during the year. And we're also hoping that that will have an impact on ensuring that people learn to respect each other and resolve differences in a different way. And of course, this doesn't end and start at school, doesn't it? It's also about parents and the responsibility they have. Absolutely right. I mean, much of what we see in schools is co coming from the home. And if people see uh, parents resolving issues in a violent manner, then obviously they're going to think that's how, how it, is, it must be done, which is um, why we are hoping that this strategy of ours will also uh, then spill over into the home and, and help the learners to go home and, and teach their parents sometimes how to resolve disputes as well. And then, of course, you get the courts getting involved. We see uh, several court cases underway, teenagers facing assault charges. You reckon that's the right way forward? It's always difficult. Um, sometimes, yes, I think it is, uh, but not always necessarily. Um, I do think we need a culture change. I do think we need to work with families and parents uh, to try and improve the situation in, in households and in families. There, there are some households that really have a, a very violent culture. We know domestic violence is also quite a, a huge issue in our country. And I think it's a really, it's a really um, there's, a, there's a place for restoration, there's a place for, for retribution. Uh, but I do believe when it's young people, the, the preferable approach is to try and work with them to help them resolve their anger, help them channel it in a better way, uh, to try and ensure that they don't have to resort to violence. And of course, the, the, the values of respect of individuals also are important, which is why we are trying to do that in schools to, to hopefully get that culture changed. Yeah. And also when it comes to respect and anti-bullying campaigns, targeting youngsters would be very important, isn't it? Certainly is, yes. Um, we've got to try and change their, their way of thinking right from when they're very young. And I think a lot of bad habits are, are really formed when you, people are very young. And it's not always that easy to change when you're older. So it is important. And um, that's why we're trying to, to do exactly that.